I'm Jane Pauley, and this is Sunday Morning. And you are going to be hearing that every Sunday morning. Now, Jane Pauley taking over the reins for Charles Osgood. And she's here with us in the studio. It I is know. so nice to see you, Jane. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's exciting to be here. I am just so thrilled for you. What a career. 40 years in journalism, and now this assignment. Did you ever anticipate? Are you this kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? No, not, pretty much nothing about my career I ever anticipated, but this one... Uh, you know, coming 40 years minus two days of my uh, debut at 25 <laughs> years old, which is ridiculous, on the Today Show. I mean, no, that's just kind of too good to be. What true. a way to celebrate an anniversary! And, great, and greatest show on television. I mean, that's what people tell me. Yeah, it really is. You know, the the best. Couldn't be prouder. Um, follow Charles, and I'm, and it is historic because. Since 1979, I will be only the third and the first not named Charles. Yeah, I was going to say, host. did you think that put you at a disadvantage? For the well, I, would have, I would have worked with Charles, Charlotte, whatever. You, uh, you've even written about reimagining your life. Did you? Yeah. When you kind of mapped it all out, you're two days short of 40 years. Did yeah. you see this at your this time of your life? The, the, the book, uh, two and a half years ago, is, how I, is why I'm here, because uh, Sunday Morning profiled me yeah. for the book. And um, uh, no, I mean, and that was sort of the message, but the message wasn't, you know, and then, and then the biggest thing that will ever happen in your career will happen uh, when you are 65 was not conceived yeah. by me. Uh, even you know, it's even plan, in the book. But, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm 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 blessed, but I do think that it uh, it is not inconsistent with the the message of the book, and that I had put myself in the path of an opportunity. I had not yep. foreseen. Can we talk about the opportunity of interviewing Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Yes. Um, and uh, getting into her kitchen? Well, I'd like to know about this. You know, there we are. Sunday morning, <laughs> uh, you know, we take topics and we do things that are just a little bit different. And here I am with a Supreme Court Justice at her home. And uh, she's about to open her freezer drawer to show me the uh, meals that her daughter Jane, who is a Columbia Law professor, once a month, Cooks for mom, Look at that. and I mean, and she eats well. Those are you know fine labels. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not the um, chili that's in my freezer at home. <laughs> and she joked. Her husband, her late husband Martin Ginsburg, was a tax expert and a gourmet chef, mm -hmm. and uh, he did the cooking. Yeah. Uh, so now she joked that her. Uh, the only appliance in her kitchen she uses is the microwave. Justice needs to be well fed, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, nice being able to, to, this program obviously is known for just not giving you basically what's in front of you, but going a little bit deeper and, and seeing, being able to go to Ruth Bader Ginsburg's kitchen and kitchen see what's, and what's in her freezer and things like that. I'm coming to your house next. So. <laughs> Trust me, you won't find meals like that, that's for sure. Yeah. But an opportunity like this, it just seems as though there are no limits to what you're going to be able to do now. Well, the, the, the Sunday morning preceded, uh, you know, my arrival with, you know, in, innovative and um, uh, in, uh, you know, new takes on 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 familiar topics, and 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 surprising takes on completely unfamiliar topics is the uh, nature of of this wonderful program, and that's not going to change. I always feel inspired when I watch it. Thank yeah. you. I do too. So I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> not number one for no reason, that's for sure. Just so thrilled You're for kind. You. Thanks you. so much. Congratulations. Great to have you with us. And you can see Jane Pauley and CBS News' this Sunday morning right here on CBS, CBS 2 at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. Jane, guess what we get to do now? This is get good. to send it right over to Mr. John Elliott. Fun fact, Jane Pauley, your studio, obviously our next door neighbor, that was the home of the Captain Kangaroo show as well. <gasps> Yeah, Kangaroo. that's your studio. Thank You're you. taking over Mr. for the captain. Green Jeans We're going to call you Captain Polly. Oh so there you go. <laughs> Mr. Green Jeans. That's right. So.